Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you what my top 25 films from the 1990s are, so stick around. So Tim over at Tim Talks Talkies is doing a list of the top 25 um, 90s movies. He had done this before for horror movies and Christmas movies, but this time he's decided to do a ranking for the 1990s. If you would like to participate in this, I'm going to have his video link down below where he explains how you can participate. And so I'm very happy to be able to talk about my favorite films from the 1990s. Now in the 1990s, I was in my 20s. I was newly married, um, starting a family, so there are going to be some films in here that are based off of kids' movies, um, which I'm not ashamed of. I saw a lot of kids' movies um, when my kids were small because my family always went to the movies. Um, we actually had a VCR, so we watched a lot of videotapes. And so all the video, all of the 25 that I'm going to show are all on VHS, so that'll be something a little bit different. So first up, um, is Judgment Night. Now this right here I saw on VHS tape back when it was first released. A really good film. This is one that you don't really hear talked about too much, um, but it stars these young men who um, get off the road going to an event and they get lost and end up in a, a bad neighborhood to where they actually witness a murder, um, some kind of drug deal gone wrong. Um, but Dennis Leary's the bad guy. It's a really good film. Definitely recommend you check out Judgment Night. So that's my top. That's my number 25. My number 24 is Backdraft. So Backdraft is another film that I saw on VHS tape first time. And it's a movie um, about firefighters. And really, we haven't had any movies in the past uh, about firefighters. We really haven't had very many movies since this. But Backdraft was a great film. I really remember enjoying this one. It's got one of the Baldwin brothers in it. I can't remember which one. It's got Kurt Russell in it, Robert De Niro. Just a really good film. Highly recommend that one. At number 23, we have this gem called My Cousin Vinny. I really enjoyed this one. This right here is a gangster type movie comedy, which was really funny. It's got Marissa Tomei in it and Joe Pesci. And just a really fun movie. So that is my number 23. Okay, at number 22, we have Hook. So Hook stars Dustin Hoffman as Captain Hook. We have Robin Williams as Peter Pan. And we have Julia Roberts as Tinkerbell. Now this right here was a really fun movie. I remember taking my boys to go see this when they were real little. Um, but I was very anxious to see this one um, because I enjoyed Peter Pan growing up. And this right here was a different telling of the story. I thought it was very well done. So I really do have a lot of fond memories of Hook. Okay, at number 22, we have The Bodyguard. Now, I remember me and my wife going to see this one in the theater. Um, Whitney Houston was a big deal back in the day. She's still a big deal, I guess. Um, but this right here stars um, Kevin Costner as the bodyguard for singer Whitney Houston. So it wasn't a big um, departure from what she was used to. Um, but, of course, we really enjoyed this one. It is a romantic date night type movie, I guess. Um, of course, it has that very famous um, song in it, which was a big deal. So we really enjoyed that one. Now, me and my wife both enjoy horror movies, and we really enjoyed going to the theater to see these. So at number 20, we have I Know What You Did Last Summer. Now, this right here, um, of course, it, like it says, it's from the writer of Scream. So Scream was a big deal. And soon after Scream, we got a lot of other type of movies, and this right here was one of them. So we really enjoyed I Know What You Did Last Summer. Um, Jennifer Love Hewitt was a big deal. We were... Uh, me and my wife both enjoyed watching Party of Five on TV, and so she was on Party of Five, and Nev Campbell, of course, was on Party of Five, and which she went to play in Scream. So we really enjoyed this slasher film. It's also got Sarah Michelle Gellar in it from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so we really enjoyed that one. Okay, at number 19, we have Misery, which is an, uh, a film based off of Stephen King's novel, starring Kathy Bates and James Caan. Really good story. Very brutal um, scenes during this film. Um, we just really enjoyed it. It's a very isolated type movie. They're snowed in. There are not very many characters in the movie that you have to keep up with. So really good story. So Misery was is my number 19. Okay, number 18, we have Unforgiven. Now, Unforgiven is a film starring Clint Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman. It's a really good Western. Um, 
really enjoyed this one. My wife didn't really care much about it. She doesn't really like Westerns, but I really did enjoy this one. So this right here is my number 18. Okay, at number 17, we have Face Off, starring Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Really good film. I really enjoyed this one. I didn't get to see this one in the theater, so I did get the VHS tape. Um, this is another one that I like to revisit often. It's just a really good, fun story. Something different, something crazy. And I um, just really enjoy this one. If you don't have Face Off in your collection, or if you've never seen that, definitely check that one out. Okay, at number 16, of course, we have Scream. So Scream definitely had to be in my top 25. Um, really fun um, slasher film, as I was saying before. This right here kind of reinvigorated the slasher films for the 1990s. And um, just uh, this, the opening scene for Scream was so iconic. I was very fortunate to be able to see this one in the theater when it came out. I really loved it. And I've enjoyed all the Screams ever since. Um, so... Scream would definitely be in my top 25. Okay, at number 15, we have Air Force One with Harrison Ford. Um, I did get to revisit this one here the past month. Um, it definitely holds up. I really do enjoy Harrison Ford's performance. I thought it's a really great action-packed story. Um, it keeps you on the edge of your seat. And so that would definitely be one of my top 25 of the 1990s. Okay, at number 14, we have this disaster film called Twister, starring Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. Um, I really do like a good disaster film, and when this came out, there hadn't really been too many as of this time. Um, in the 70s and the 80s, we did get films like Earthquake and The Poseidon Adventure, so it had been a while since we really got a good disaster film, and I think Twister was a great one. Um, growing up here in Georgia, we got a lot of tornadoes. Um, we've had tornadoes hit our neighborhoods before. Um, so this right here was def definitely one of those that was kind of scary to watch. But we love Twister and Universal Studios in Florida used to have a Twister um, type show, which I remember waiting in line for hours to go through that um, Twister show, which was a really big letdown. But anyway, I enjoyed the movie. Okay, at number 13, we had this great film called Speed with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. We really did enjoy watching Sandra Bullock back in the 90s. Um, she had some really great films, and we really loved Speed. I think Speed um, is probably one of our favorite Sandra Bullock films. And, of course, Keanu Reeves was great. We really enjoyed the story. Um, that bus, th the whole thing on the bus was just exciting and invigorating. So we really loved um, Speed. Okay, at number 12, we have this gem called True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis. Really fun film. Um, I really enjoyed this film. It had been a long time since I've been able to watch this since we don't have a really good um, Blu-ray. We don't have any Blu-ray release of this. Um, we need a Blu-ray release. We need a 4K release. I never did get the DVD for this. I only have the VHS tape. Um, so I don't get to watch this as often as I would like to, but True Lies is great, and I'm very happy to have this in my top 25. Okay, at number 11, we have Ghost. Now, Ghost stars Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, Whoopi Goldberg. I do remember seeing this one in the packed theater when it came out. Um, this right here had a really great soundtrack also, but great performances. Um, it has this really nice um, white cassette tape. Um, here's the back, but we really enjoyed Ghost. Like I said, it had a good soundtrack. It was a romantic type movie, and um, I just remember seeing this one in the theater and that it was such a big deal, and so I, it had to be a part of my top 25. Okay, now we're going to get into my top 10. So at number 10, we have A League of Their Own, starring Gina Davis, Tom Hanks. It has Madonna. It has Rosie O'Donnell in it. This right here was a really fun movie. Um, about women's baseball league, very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. It's um, a, a comedy. Um, I think Penny Marshall did this film, and I just really enjoy it. So that's my number ten. Number nine, we have the Shawshank Redemption. Um, this is another one that I got to see in the theater. I really love this one. It was a really good. I enjoy a really good Prison Break movie. I thought this. Right, I thought this right here was really excellent. It had a lot of heart in it. Um, a lot of action, a lot of drama, so um, definitely love Shawshank Redemption. Okay, now we're getting into some of the films that my kids enjoyed, and I enjoyed seeing these with them. Um, so at number eight, we have Toy Story. Um, when Toy Story came out, 
it was a big deal. It had a lot of promotional type tie-ins with it. Of course, it being a, a Disney movie, a Disney Pixar film. And my kids really loved this one. I remember going, getting the Happy Meals, collecting the toys. Um, at Christmas, I remember them getting a lot of Toy Story stuff for Christmas. Um, so I always have fond memories of this. This would definitely have to be my top 10. And alongside that is another one that was pretty much the same thing. And that was The Lion King. The Lion King was another great film. We really enjoyed this one. We saw Toy Story and we saw The Lion King over and over and over at my house because the kids loved it so much. And I just have a lot of great memories of these Disney classics. Okay, at number six, we have Batman Returns. Um, I'm a big fan of Batman Returns. I really loved it. It's probably my favorite of the Batman films from that era. Um, Batman 1989 was a good one, but I really did enjoy this one the most. Um, this right here was one that I saw when it came out in 1992. Um, my first son was born that year. So, of course, we didn't take him to the theater. So, I did get this one. Um, on VHS tape when it came out. But when my kids got older, um, in the 90s, they I remember us going to the McDonald's and getting the Happy Meal toys for this. They had all kinds of different promotional type things when the VHS tape came out. And so I have a lot of fond memories of Batman Returns. I really loved it. I really loved the Penguin, and definitely Catwoman was spectacular. Michelle Pfeiffer was the perfect Catwoman. This was just a lot of fun. So that right there would be my number six. Okay, at number five, we have Jurassic Park, another great classic film from the 90s. Um, this movie was spectacular. I remember seeing this one in the theater, and seeing the dinosaurs for the first time was just amazing. We had never um, saw the dinosaurs look so realistic on screen um, in previous movies, so this right here was just an amazing watch. I do remember seeing this one in the theater, and remember getting in the VHS tape back when it was released, and my oldest son was, um, I think, four years old when he first saw it. And he just loved this movie. We watched it over and over and over again. So that's my number five. I can't say enough good things about Jurassic Park. Okay, at number four, we have Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Probably my favorite um, Arnold Schwarzenegger film. We really love this story. Um, we love the Terminator, but we love the Terminator 2, Judgment Day even better. Um, the two movies go very well together, but for some reason Terminator 2 was a lot more fun. It seemed like it was a little bit more action-packed. Anyways, we had some really good um, action scenes in this film, a really good story, and so that right there would be num my number four. Okay, my number three film is probably one of my favorite films of all time, and that's Forrest Gump. Um, we love Forrest Gump. We did get to see this one in the theater. It was a big deal. Um, Tom Hanks did a great performance. We got to see so many different things played out during this movie throughout history. And I thought that was a lot of fun. Great performances. Um, very long movie, but we really enjoyed every minute of it. Okay, number two. Probably my, almost my favorite Sylvester Stallone film, and that's Copland. Um, I love Copland. I think it's a great film. It's a really, it's a really great departure for Stallone. Um, going from Rocky and Rambo to this more serious dramatic role and I just really enjoyed the story and I thought he gave a great performance the, the whole cast did and so I really enjoyed the story and so Copland is my number two okay at number one we have The Silence of the Lambs so The Silence of the Lambs is my favorite movie from the 1990s really great suspenseful story um, starring Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter. Um, this right here was just a really fun story. I, I really love a good suspenseful thriller type film. And we have Hannibal Lecter who is um, getting interviewed by FBI agent Clarice and um, trying to find the killer Buffalo Bill. Um, some really creepy scenes in that movie. Um, mostly from Buffalo Bill. He was pretty creepy looking, um, but just really enjoyed this movie. So that right there would be my number one film from the 1990s. So that's my top 25 films from 1990. Now I did have a lot of other ones that I liked, but I'm not going to do any honorable mentions. Um, but I was really surprised about how many of these films I actually still had on VHS tapes. So it was very fun being able to show all of these. So if you'd like to participate, remember to check that link down below for Tim Talks Talkies videos and definitely let us 
know what your top 25 are. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.